I'm Debbie Thomas was training at the little Redwood City Ice Rink in California and living the college life as a full-time Stanford pre-med student. That has changed. She's living in Boulder now at the University of Colorado. Why? Well, the little rink in Redwood City closed and Debbie realized that she was trying to do too much in this Olympic year. One of my things is trying to do five million pre-med courses all at once and it's just too hard to do. And I like to succeed in what I'm doing, and if I'm not doing really well, then that makes me depressed, and that makes everything worse. So she took a year off from Stanford, but she still manages to squeeze in some courses at CU on sports medicine, which she'd like to specialize in someday. But in this Olympic year, skating is finally number one, because Debbie remembers very clearly what it's like to win. To win it with a performance like that is just one of the ultimate things that you experience in competitive skating. And she knows what it's like to be unable to do her best and lose as she did last year. I was injured and I knew that I was struggling and I didn't really want to be there and I wasn't into it. Instead, she goes into this year determined to be prepared. I'm skating about 20 billion times better than I was last year. But it didn't happen overnight. After three months off to cure her tendonitis, she was out of shape, out of breath, and really disenchanted with herself. I was really going overboard, you know, and just saying I'm a failure and I'm a loser and I can't do it and forget it. And so now I'm saying, okay, you're going to make these mistakes. You're human. You can't help it. You know, the thing is to just go out there and try and do, do it the best you can. While she works on her mental approach, George de la Peña, a dancer from the American Ballet Theater, has been working on getting her to feel the music and the character of Carmen. Yes, that's the stuff. Now enjoy that. But perhaps it was working a few hours with ballet's greatest, Mikhail Baryshnikov, that energized her. He just took the things that I was already doing, you know, I'd do something like this, and he said, can't you go like this? You know, and I was like, well, gosh, that looks totally different. You'll be seeing those little touches and the new Debbie Thomas, as her coach calls her. But by being so committed, she may be putting even more pressure on herself. It feels like now you put everything into it, you have to skate great. <laughs> and it's like, ah! An hour from Denver in the other direction lies Colorado Springs and the famous Broadmoor World Arena. Both Jill Trenary and Karen Cadavy trained there under Carlo Fossi, who's already the coach of four Olympic champions. Karen and her mother left their home and moved to Colorado when Carlo spotted Karen at a sectional competition and offered to teach her. Well, for Karen, it was a dream come true. Under Carlo, she moved up in the ranks quickly, developed a reputation for her artistry. But some critics said, well, she always misses jumps in the big competitions, as at last year's nationals during the short program. Does she think that's fair criticism? I came up fairly quickly, and I don't think it's fair for someone to say that because um, of all the experience that I have had as compared to some other people and um, just give me a chance and um, you know I'll show it. Which is exactly what she did a month later at the World Championships when she jumped from fifth to third with her best performance ever. All I could say is I did it. I did it. I did it. And that was it. And that was just the, the most satisfying feeling I could feel. Being freed from that image has given her the lift she needed to train for this year. Karen's the daughter of a former ballet dancer and brings to her skating many years of dance. I love to interpret to music and I love to move on the ice and to create. There's also a hint of the artist in her, which is why Tyler Cranston, the Canadian skater and artist who rarely does this kind of thing, was interested enough to agree to work with her on her choreography. There. Right. That's it. I think that with... Toller got so involved that he ended up designing her costumes, too. That red is probably uh, the most aggressive color, and it's sort of a declaration of war. This one for the um, short program. All of which has inspired her. I feel very good this year, and, um, you know, better than I have felt. I, I feel very happy, and, and I feel very confident, and I think that's the way I like to feel. Last year, when 18-year-old Jill Trenary burst onto the skating scene and won the national title, no one was more surprised than she was. The moment my music stopped, it was just 
It was just the best feeling I've ever had. I was, I was so proud of myself for pulling it off. She was especially proud because she'd been through a year and a half of struggle, building herself up after a terrible accident. Another skater's blade ripped through her left calf, severing the muscle and the artery. She was expected to walk with a limp, not win the national championship. Less than three months after it happened, she forced her swollen foot into a skate and began relearning to jump. It was hard. It was hard emotional and mentally to come back. I was so low and I didn't think I could be the same skater. And it taught me to toughen up. She was tough again at her first world championship last year when she made a serious basic error on her very first compulsory figure and had to fight her way up from 12th to 7th after her long program. Everyone else was saying I was out of it, but, you know, I came back and I did it. Even so, after losing to Debbie and Karen at Worlds, she may have to convince some doubters that she deserves the national title she won last year. People will say, you know, it was a fluke. Debbie was injured. Karen fell. That's competition, so I don't call that a fluke. So, yeah, I do have to prove to some people, but not to myself. It's like you're on a pedestal and you're waiting for you to fall. It would really mean a lot to me to win the title back two years in a row. The first time isn't as hard. I've always heard that. You're not expected to, but to go back and regain it with all the pressure would really be special.